Welcome to this video. Today, you're going to learn how to use as if and as though. This is a question that a student had submitted and it's a great question, so I'm happy to answer it for you. Of course, I'm Jennifer from jforceenglish.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you feel confident speaking English in public so you can take your career and your life to the next level. Now, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. Now, let's dive in with this video. Let's talk about how to use as if and as though. Now, in terms of difference between the two, there is no difference, so you can use them interchangeably. They have the same meaning. With that said, as if is a lot more common. So if you had to choose between using one, I would recommend as if. The examples I give you are all going to use as if because it sounds way more natural to me and I don't really use as though in my speech. So I recommend using as if, but you can absolutely use as though and it has the same meaning. So as if and as though are conjunctions. We use them in two different ways. The first is when it's an unreal comparison. So the important thing to keep in mind here is this is a impossible situation. It's a hypothetical situation. So because of that, we're going to use the subjunctive verb tense. I could say he acted as if he were the CEO. So here in this sentence, he were the CEO. Notice were, that's the subjunctive verb tense because in a past simple sentence, I would simply say he was the CEO, but that means it was real. It's in the past simple, so it's over, the action is complete, but at a time in the past, in reality, he was the CEO. But in my example, he acted as if he were the CEO. This is an unreal comparison. I'm comparing him to the CEO, but he is not the CEO. Because of that, I'm using the past simple in the first part of the sentence. I'm using as if as the conjunction. And then after as if I need a clause. So just a subject, a verb, and an object, but that verb should be in the past subjunctive. So just make sure that verb to be is in were for all the subjects. I could say I acted as if I were the CEO, but because I used as if I were, you know that I'm not the CEO. It's an unreal comparison. Now, another common way we use as if and as though is for a situation that seems likely or seems possible. In this case, we're not using the subjunctive because there is a possibility that it can be real. So because of that, we're just going to use different verb tenses depending on the context and where we are on our timeline. So I could say, you look as if you haven't slept in days. So here, you haven't slept in days. That's in the present perfect because it started in the past and it continues until now. And I'm using as if to suggest that although this seems possible, it seems likely, I'm not 100% sure that it's true. So there is some doubt to the statement. You might reply back and say, no, actually, I've been sleeping fine. Now, in this use only, when we're using it for something that seems likely or possible, but we're not 100% true, native speakers commonly use like. You look like you haven't slept in days. And honestly, for me, it sounds a lot more natural to use like. I used as if because that's the purpose of this video, but in an everyday conversation with friends or coworkers, I would use like. So to summarize, as if and as though have the same meaning. They're both conjunctions. However, as if is a lot more common and I recommend using it to sound more natural. 
They're used for two different reasons. The first is a unreal comparison. You have to use the past simple and the past subjunctive verb tense. And the second time you can use this is when you're suggesting that something seems likely or possible, but you're not 100% sure. And in this case, you can use any verb tense depending on the context. And you can also substitute as if for like. So now you know how to use as if and as though, so it's your turn to practice. I want you to leave two examples. One, the unreal comparison, and the second example for the seems likely or possible. So put those in the comment section below. And if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe. And before you go, make sure you head on over to my website, jforceenglish.com, and download your free speaking guide. In this guide, I share six tips on how to speak English fluently and confidently. And until next time, happy studying. A little bonus expression for you. Native speakers commonly use the two words as if, has to be as if, when we want to reply that something is extremely unlikely. So for example, my friend might suggest, hey, I think you might get that promotion. And if I think that's extremely unlikely, I can reply back with those two words and say, as if, as if, as if. So you can add that to your vocabulary as well. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.